is up guys, Major Magma here, welcome back to Cities Skylines. This is my city of Magtropolis. It's looking pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this is the stone bridge we were doing last episode guys. And I've gone ahead and put a railway line on top of it. I'm taking inspiration from a bridge that is near the way I live, called the High Level Bridge. It looks quite similar to that, but look at it, it looks pretty cool, I like it. Cars underneath, maybe on top. <laughs> yeah, what we need to do in this episode is go ahead and put in a station on this side, I think, so we can start getting trains going backwards and forwards on that bridge. That would be quite nice to see. Uh, but what I want to do first of all, I want to start just down here on the waterfront. And I've got some little pier walls, I suppose we'll call them, just to go in down here. It just tidies up the edge here, takes away the raw edge, so let's go and have a look. Uh, it is in decorations, I believe, yes, yeah it is. Uh, Metropolitan Sunken Wall. Uh, and I want to put these here. Let's just have a quick look at that. Yeah, the land's bleeding through, but we'll see if we can flatten the land around it. I'm just going to go ahead and put them all along here first. So we don't get any little messages saying, sorry, but you can't place on water or whatever. Yeah, so we'll there we go, let's have a look at this. Yeah, that's cool. Let's get our... Um, no, not smoothing tool, we'll do that one. Uh, we'll just drop the land. It's working. Ha 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 look at that. That is awesome. This might make the water a little bit choppy, like I hope we don't get it, um, any tsunamis. Yeah, that looks absolutely brilliant. That's cool. Right, let's go ahead and continue this all the way around then. So we want another one on here. One there. Let's put one here, see if we can get it to go around the corner. Right there, I think. So there, there. Let's have a look at this then. Yeah, that's all right. I'm just gonna put one more on the end there. I think I'm gonna pause time as well because I want it to stay light. I don't like constructing the dark. Right, let's go ahead and flatten that land then. I'll move it down. So, <laughs> that looks awesome. Oh, I do like it. Right, I'm gonna do this side here, and I'm gonna leave that side until we fathom out what is happening over here. There's probably a little bit more zone to do as well. Uh, so let's go ahead, and jump into our roads. We want to go to. Our new road menu, which is small heavy roads. We want this thing here, small four lane road. Uh, and we just need to keep roads straight, so we'll run that to there. Across the back of here. To there, and then back up and onto its existing self. Alright, so we'll do a little bit of zoning in there quickly. We'll just add some high density residential. Take overlap off, so. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to redo them. I'm just gonna quickly do this. Two ticks. Alright guys, I fixed it. Um, yeah, I just dropped a little bit of a clanger and left overlap on, so it was... Our houses were going to start growing on our road, which is not what we want, so... Yeah, zoning. High density residential. Let's just... Feed all of that. Hmm. I don't know why it hasn't done that bit there. I'll leave the zoning for now, then we'll do the... Pier wall. Uh, so we'll just go and get it again. Time is playing again. I'm just going to stop it. Right, we want one there. And one there. Put something in the middle. There we go. <laughs> oh, I do like these. Right, uh, we want to move it down. So, all of that. Right, 
there we go. And that's cool. <laughs> yeah, our um, housing and commercial is going to love being around here. Yeah, I have gone ahead and moved our highway further down as well. I don't think I showed that last episode. It was there last episode. We've moved our power over here, but that will get moved again. But yeah, the idea is to run the highway straight across here. And then we are going to be having a big, badass um, industrial harbour over here. Some cargo harbour. I'm afraid. Get rid of this little poxy one. Um, but yeah, let's stay concentrated on this side. I want to go ahead and put in another hospital. I've got one down here, but I don't think it covers the entire area. No way, so it only covers mainly up to the bridge. And we want to do the other side as well. So I want to go ahead with this thing here. We've already used this once, but I want to do it again. Metropole Hospital, 80 grand. And I want to put this up here. I've got it sent a lot of there, maybe. 80 grand? Yeah. A lot of happy people. A lot of health development around here as well. Alright, so. I have gone ahead off cam and put in hospitals, um, yeah, hospitals, police stations, and a fire station. Just to aid in our. Um, keeps moving in. Yeah, this canal, it looks pretty awesome. And I'm quite buzzing with how quickly this area has um, grown as well. When I left off in the last episode, it was a couple of little proxy buildings, and look, we've got a couple of skyscrapers now, so. Right, let's go ahead and put in a train station then. Try and get this uh, train bridge connected up to it then. Uh, so this little flat patch over here is the land I prepped for the train station. And I already know which one I want. We want uh, an elevated train station. This one here, urban elevated station. Put that in there. So we're going to need to go ahead and put in a road. Um, and I'm just going to keep it simple, just a little Tyrolean thing, I think. I'll put a grass verge on this side. I'm going to run it straight. I'm going to run it eh, out there. Boom. It's in. Right. Let's get our station and plonk it on there. Probably as further this way as I can get it, so there. 30 grand? Seems like a bargain. That is, uh, that's cool. That is, yeah, that is pretty good. I like it. Alright, so on this side where I've left a little gap here, I want to put in some roads and a car box. So just get the roads again. Nothing on this one. Run it straight that way. Straight that way. I'm going to go ahead and try and join up the train tracks now, and then we can come back and put the car park in, in a bit. Um, one thing we're going to have to do, and this is, I probably should have thought about this beforehand, is I'm going to have to flatten all of this land, because when we put the train line in, it follows the curves of the terrain. So I'm going to pause time and we'll do this. Bulldoze. This road here, I'm gonna grab a height from like here or something. And just run that around here. There we go. We should be able to bring that train track around level. That's the theory anyway, so let's go and get our train track now. It should just be at the end of this menu. There it is. Train tracks. Right. Let's go ahead and put in a straight. Yeah, you see it's rising with the terrain already. Uh, we need to put overlap on. I'm going to go ahead and take away the footpath underneath and I'm going to level all the land on another bridge as well so we can run it straight to the end of here and then we can curve it round. We want to pull those two first, get rid of this path. And then we want our terrain leveler. And 
let's level all of this under here. Now that should allow us to run our train line straight to the end of the bridge. Nice and level. To there. And I'm just going to switch pillars to the side as well. And run that to there. Boom. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, it, it peaks ever so slightly, but I'm not too worried about that. And what we're now going to do is put a train station from this side. Uh, it's probably to about there. Train line, even, to this side. Uh, and then we're going to hit a freeform track. No, we're not, actually. We're going to hit a curved track. Hopefully this will work. Without any grades and humps and stuff. Mm, it is humping ever so slightly. Let's try and level that terrain again. Uh, let's just go there. I'm just going to level all that up along there so we can keep the same height. Might make it a bit easier. Uh, trains. Yep, train line is what we're after, isn't it? Yep. Run that to there and curve it round down on there. Yeah, peaks up as a slate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in and I'm going to go ahead and fix it off cam. Um, but yeah, it looks alright. Let's put our footpath back in. Because that sign does me head in where it says that there's no traffic and get to it. Right, there we go. And um, we'll put the road back in on the other side as well. Uh, so this is just a one way road. Uh, we'll just do free form. Go that round and on up there. And I'm going to fix all of this off cam, so I'm not going to bother about raising that land again or fixing much of that. Go there, yeah, there we go. Okay, right, so we've done that. I'm going to quickly show you a little bit more tweaking that I've been doing to the airport. And then we're going to head across to downtown Manhattan. So we just head on over there, but look, we've got some props now. We've got a couple of planes that I've put in. Emirates plane and a, a UPS. I was going to put them in, in DHL, but I thought that was like a bit of a traitor service, so I didn't. Um, yeah, we've got United here, and we've got a big, huge Qantas plane. It's a bit of a beast. Yeah, I've been doing a lot more of the car box as well, around here. And I want to finish off this episode by just raising all of this here, but that could go badly, so <laughs> leave it at the end of the episode, then I can fix it. Should be a laugh, if nothing else. Put a few of these little props in here. we got a light, a bit of fence there, just to mark it off, but yeah. Uh, let's head on over to downtown Manhattan, then. Eh? And I want to just say a quick thank you to Jack for pointing out that one of the buildings that we lost during the after dark uh, DLC um, upgrade was this year the huge data stick the USB building yeah but it's back it's, uh, it's looking good yeah <laughs> uh, yeah I want to come over here because there's a building that I wanted to put in and I'm unsure whether to put it in here or Lake Windermere but if we go and find the building first and then we can see what I think it is. It's going to be a unique building. It's a level six. Uh, it should be in here. It's not that one. I do know it is one of the buildings that I covered up. With them dafts. Thingy saying. There we go. Chicago Spire. This is a request. And it's also a beast. It's a dwarf. Uh, every other building in our city. There's a space there, we could put it in there. But the other alternative was up here, but I just don't think it's going to look right up here because these buildings aren't that tall and it would just, like, you know, it's like three, looks like it's about three times the size of any other building in there, you know what I mean? So, no, I'm going to put it down here, besides CS Tower. 
or what was previously known as CS Tower. <laughs> yeah, we want to put it here because there's a nice little spot there. So 20 grand seems like a bargain, but let's boom, it's in. Bloody hell, look at the size of that. <laughs> it's massive. <laughs> Might have to move that round ever so slightly, I think. Because it's just sitting on top of Magpie there. Uh, is it Magpie Tower? Yeah, maybe it's Magpie Tower. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> something I can do off calm. We've got the graveyards full. Let's just set that away. The graveyard's empty, even. Let's set it away, fill in. Uh, I've done some more landfill stuff up here. I've just put in a ton of these. And I'm waiting for these guys to finish emptying. And then we're going to move them. Might as well set that away, emptying as well. Yeah, I think that's all we can pretty much do in this episode. Yeah, I think in the next one, what I want to do is go ahead and try and help our traffic by running a highway all the way around the outside of the map. And here, because I had a little spell when we first started here, and I was rejigging this highway here where rubbish wasn't getting collected from the main of the city because... Well, this was our main landfill site over here. And traffic couldn't get in or out. Or it could, but it was all coming through this route here. And it had to come off and round through all these little roads. And then back on here. And it's blah, 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 blah. And it was a long, painful affair. So. Yeah, I think we're going to do that in the next episode, though. But let's finish off by raising this land here. And I do expect this to go bad. Because... It's going to lift all the water up at the height, but it's just how much water it's going to dump on our airport. So let's set this away. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing over this way here, so I'm just going to raise it up to about there. All of this land here. This is obviously going to be part of the airport again. Yeah, let's just do all of that. Flatten all of this. Wow, this is spending money quick as well. <laughs> oh. Look at that. You'd think I'd uh, totted that up. It's um, pretty much the exact amount of money we needed to do it. Right, moment of truth, play time. Watch the chaos unfold.